just don't want her to bring it home because uh, I know there's already six outbreaks in her school. It's just too risky for some parents who are deciding not to send their kids back to school. For other families, they have few options and parents can't juggle at home learning with work. A gradual return to school starts Monday, but this man who didn't want to appear on camera says he doesn't plan to send his daughter back to her grade six classroom. She brings it home. I'm going to get real sick because I have a lung problem. Then he tells City News he got pneumonia just before the pandemic. And uh, homeschool or if I have to, which is not easy, I know, but I'd rather be smart than send her to school and not knowing. As hard as homeschooling sounds, many wish they at least had that choice. We're hearing from parents is that they're saying that, you know, school closures could just be last minute. And that, that puts a lot of anxiety on, on parents that need to be working full time. How are they going to be finding uh, a place for their children last minute or how, or how are they going to be taking time off? For those with students in BC's largest school board, the Surrey School District, some argue the province hasn't actually added enhanced safety measures. Most parents were hoping for, like we heard in Ontario, that the classrooms would be having air, air filter units where that's an extra step that was added on uh, in Ontario where uh, classrooms, each classroom has an air purifier. So that I think would give parents a little bit more peace of mind. The BC Teachers Federation wants to prevent sudden closures. Uh, ensuring there is enhanced masking available, boosters for the adults, uh, a real emphasis on vaccinating school age children and putting in HEPA filters and other mitigation strategies in the schools that don't have MERS 13 filters. We think that this could uh, support schools to stay open. Meanwhile, Vinny says their family is just trying to avoid the Omicron variant as best they can. I know like four people just in the last month they got it. I never knew nobody before. So it's getting closer to home. In Vancouver, Crystal Adaris, City News.